West Ham make two changes from the side that lost to Everton in the midweek Carling Cup tie. In defence, Danny Gabidon, whose mistake led to Everton's late winner, is replaced by James Collins, while Nobby Solano returns in midfield. He wasn't eligible to play in the Cup tie. Carlton Cole, who got West Ham's goal on Wednesday night, has overcome a hip injury to take his place in attack alongside Dean Ashton. Everton, not surprisingly, name an unchanged lineup, and it's an indication really of how strong their squad is these days that David Moyes can afford to leave quality players like Andrew Johnson, Thomas Graveson, and James McFadden on the subs bench. Their confidence is high, having suffered just one defeat in the last two months, and even that was a game they were unlucky to lose against Liverpool. It's Everton in their all-blue strip who get us underway. Only Chelsea have shown better form than they have over the last few weeks. David Moyes' team come into this game on an 11-match unbeaten run, and they've won nine of them. And we have to say that West Ham's home form hasn't been too clever up to now. They've actually won more points on the road than they have here at Upton Park. Neville, and the first challenge on him by Parker leaves the Everton skipper in a crumpled heap for the moment and David Moyes pointing an accusing finger well Scott Parker got something on the ball there Alan because the ball deflected out of play but he must have caught him after that here we go there's the clearance from Phil Neville and he catches him with the trailing leg catches him with the right leg as well but interesting I think it's a little message of intent from West Ham that you know, we said about Alan Kerbishley saying that they started very physically against them. Now they've got to match them today. And that man there, Scott Parker, that's what he's all about. Got a great physical aggression to his game, which uh, nowadays is nice to see. Yes, he's only been able to make a handful of appearances. A knee injury kept him out early on as Cole challenges edge of the box. Yobo with the clearance for Everton. He's one of the players that is going to be missing in January when he and indeed Yaku who, who will uh, join the Nigeria squad for the African Nations Championships it's going to be a big loss to Everton having to do without those two Park out Neville make sure that he got the foot in first this time <laughs> well that was nice that was a nice chance for Phil Neville to try and rattle Scott Parker there and uh, it was gratefully taken no way through for Cole, but it has deflected for a corner. And um, what they've got West Ham today with James Collins back in the side is an extra little bit of height at set pieces. Very good at attacking the ball, James Collins, and it'll be interesting to see who does pick him up. And it's Tim Cahill. Upson also joining him, still waiting for his first West Ham goal. Collins made a determined bid to meet that ball on the far post. Howard getting his hand there first. And Yakubu gets his first touch, a player in real hot form at the moment. Took some time to settle at Everton, and there were a few critical comments from some of their fans about him. But he just showed in that little uh, bit of skill how good he can be. Unpredictable player, Alan. He can be uh, very frustrating to play with, yet very frustrating to play against, because you, you just can't read him. Pinar, the South African international, doing well to keep it in play. And not a bad ball back for Osman either. He goes spinning. But the goal kick is given. Well, nearly a repeat of midweek. It was Pinar who set up Osman. You can see Pinar gets down this left-hand side, cuts it back for Osman. Great at those late runs, Leon Osman. Gets in the area. He's lost Freddie Lundberg. No pen, he was just stumbling in. But very, very similar to the goal that he scored in midweek. And his manager has been uh, urging Fabio Capello, the New England coach, to take a long look at him when he picks his first squad. Certainly seems to be in as good a form as most midfielders in the Premier League at the moment. Here's Neville, I wonder if he'll get his England chance again. Arteta, what a great uh, signing he's been for Everton. Carsley, another consistent figure for them. McCartney bravely puts his head in there. Neville. Here's Arteta. Cahill. Good link-up play by Everton. They're full of confidence. You can see that in everything they do. Osman. 
to Lescott. Carsley. Osman. Pinar. West Ham chasing shadows a bit at the moment. Arteta's layoff. And it was another decent effort by Osman. It was a great move. They've started similar to him midweek. They were passing the ball about and you as you said in commentary Alan very full of confidence and there was a little foul earlier on by Scott Parker referee played play on and that was central but it ends up again with Leon Osman significantly on the edge of the box getting his shot away and they're trying to get uh, Solano involved at every opportunity Lucas Neal will try and pick out Cole with the throw. Parker. Oh, that was loose. Yakubu waiting for support. And then giving it away clumsily. Cole. Force wide by Lascott. But still gets his cross in Ashton. Oh, a better contact there. And we might have been looking at the first goal. Well, he's leaden footed, Ashton. He's got to attack it. He's got to attack it and go with his head. He was standing flat. It was a great cross from Colton Cole who breaks wide. Gets his cross in as you can see. But look at Ashton. He doesn't make the move forward. He's got to attack the ball. Move forward. Waits for it. And that allows Yobo to come in with a great challenge and get it away. But Ashton, two weeks down the line, I think he attacks that a lot better. Got a winning goal in West Ham's last league game. That excellent 1-0 victory against uh, Blackburn. Howard beaten to it there. And he's scrambling to get it away from Collins took a risk the goalkeeper it's been kept in play as well and Ashton threw himself at that one Jungberg here's Ashton again much better goalkeeping this time by Howard well unsure with the first bit but that is good goalkeeping there but he does put himself up for making mistakes Alan because he comes for far more crosses than most uh, I'd rather that in my goalkeepers yeah fair point Lescott Pino had to check back inside. Jagelka. That's a good ball. Yakuvu. Free kick to Everton. Well, I must say, I've been in, impressed by Everton's start. They've looked sharp and incisive. Arteta takes it quickly to Pino. Strange cross. Jungberg. What a good ball out that was to Ashton. His first touch, excellent. Parker. Mullins helps it on to Cole. McCartney made a great overlapping run. Now he's got to track back. But maybe not, as Parker. Takes them forward again, West Ham. Good football. Lovely stuff. Solano. Great tackle, Yagelka. Mullins. On to Neil. A good early pace to this game. Solano. Mullins. It's good football. And suddenly there's a chance for Jungberg. He should have scored. And he knows it. All credit to Howard, but that should have been 1-0 and Freddie Jungberg's first West Ham goal. Well, it's a sitter and Solano's at the heart of everything. Great rapid passing, quick fire passing, and eventually it finds its way via a deflection through to Lundberg. And that's what, nine yards out, Alan? That's got to be a goal. Howard had already got the ground. That should have been 1-0. But for me, Solano was brilliant. He was at the heart of everything. Great one and two touch play. And that's what got the crowd going now. And of course... They've got to keep that gun. They've got to get more ball out to Solano. That's significant for me. Clever player. Parker seems to be everywhere in the middle of the park for West Ham. But Neville intercepts. And there he is again. Diving header by Parker. And it's gone forward to Ashton here. Chance! Oh... Well, Parker is the man who made that opportunity. Ashton, I'm afraid, the man who missed it. Well, he's the man who gives it the lead. And this 
Great, brave diving header. The ball gets out wide. It's an early ball again. Look, fizzed in. Solano on the half volley. Now that's not a bad attempt because he's coming over his shoulder. He does everything right, apart from being maybe a foot wide of the post. Difficult. Waiting for it to come over his shoulder. Lobs it over the keeper, and it's so unlucky. There's a few chances West Ham have had now and missed, and uh, you wonder if they're going to get mate to pay for it because you don't normally get many against a good Everton side. And this Scott Parker just got that kick on the head from Cahill, but interesting, isn't it, Alan? I mean, everybody thinks that it's a great bit of skill that lifts Krausd, but it's still a tackle or a diving header or a little bit of aggression, something that's missing in the modern game somewhat now for me. But you see someone like Scott Parker or Carsley or Cahill, they do something like they did there and immediately it lifts the crowd. Yeah, and I think a lot of people might have been uh, thinking twice about putting their foot in there then, but to uh, stick your head in where it hurt, well, it just tells you what a tough little character he is. Very good signing. Well, it's a ball we had no call to go for, really. Look, Tim Cahill doesn't really know he's coming, and he cops it as he ends the ball. It's a fearful whack, but uh, I'm sure he'll be all right, Scotty. He's a brave lad. Oh, he's beaten him. Oh, and again. And Green got away with a little fumble. Oh, outstanding play in the first place. And then it's sloppy by Yakubu. Green has a fumble, but this is great play. Dragging out Collins where he doesn't want to be, out wide. Now he's just got to get his head up. And he doesn't get his head up. It's a poor cross, and I think uh, Green's <laughs> quite taken aback by the poorness of the cross, quite frankly, and then fumbles it. But... Uh, You've got to be careful, West Ham, because Cahill's dragging Matthew ups and out of position. He drags him in short, and then all of a sudden, the ball goes in behind, and it leaves Collins one-on-one -on -one with Yakubu. And that's a little measure of what can happen when he is one-on-one. -on -one. There's McCartney for West Ham, who've won six of their 15 Premier League games so far. It took them twice as many games to record half a dozen wins last season. And of course, they had a long and ultimately successful battle against relegation, which went right to the final day. Mullins, strong run by him. Jungberg. Waits for McCartney. Jungberg again. Oh, well played. Brilliant play by Freddie Jungberg, unlucky. Well, I think he surprised everyone. He's in a tight situation for Eddie Lundberg and he really gets out of it well and in the end just stumbles at the last, but that's a little bit better from Freddie Lundberg. Great to little nutmeg here on Neville and then he wriggles out of another one along the line with Yobo. He's scared to touch him, but just stumbles. Unlucky. Top, top quality player, of course, in his nine years at Arsenal. And he gains the free kick here, Tim Cahill pleading with the referee that he actually won the ball. Well, Solano from this distance has normally got quality written all over his crosses. Uh, I suppose it'll be the curse of the commentator, but he'll look to swing this one in, aiming for that far post. Strikers getting across the line of sight of the goalkeeper, Tim Howard. He'll try and miss that first man, which is Lee Carsley. That's his aiming. That's his target, across, just over Carsley's head, you can see the, the bald head there, just over his head, and aiming for that far post. Ashton threw himself at it, and it was away on the far post for a corner from Lascott. Spot on, wasn't it, Alan? The good defending by Everton, trying to hold that line, trying to keep them up there. Look, over the bald head, like we said, attack well, flicked on, but Lescott reacts best to the second ball. Scott closely marking Ashton again. Upson in the middle trying to wriggle clear and it's left it to Collins who was unmarked. Well, they've certainly had their chances in this first half. The home side. James Collins could have, could have even taken that one down. Controlled it and then got his shot away. He had so much time. Another guilt edge chance. That's three. None of them taken. corner works perfectly 
There's a little block off. James Collins comes in behind. You can see there's a little block here, and then Collins just holds his run, checks it. Look at that time space. And look, he could have even taken it down, just took it across his body and had a shot. And I think James had his boots on the wrong feet there. <laughs> Arteta can he get his cross in here it's a good tackle by Neil Solano back to help out but this is a good spell for Everton Osman Westcott goes for the early ball in and it should be great you can imagine Rob Green will be a uh, the cross from Lescott but the catch from Green he's, when he's coming at the balls he'll be over exaggerating with that shout after the mix up in midweek I'm sure there's allowed keepers when he's coming for everything there's a little flick on here for Ashton Solano takes over that's a good ball too now well there might have been a little nudge there as Parker went to head that be interesting to see that back good break again from Parker running from deep this time losing his midfield man Carsley great little ball again from Solano so aware this time it's one touch from Solano into the path of Parker not a lot he could have done with it really good attempt never looked like scoring but uh, again a good run from deep Upson a judge to a foul Cahill Tata just chips it forward for Yakubu. Osman! Half chance. Good little move from Arteta though. Look, lovely little dink. Back to play. Comes off of Collins, in fact. Sits up for Osman. And this time his standing foot goes from underneath him and he blazes over. But uh, probably there, the best chance. Neil, that's a great ball for Parker. Good interception by Yagelka. Good covering interception from Jagielka because he'd lost Carsley. Another good run from deep, Scott Parker. Here he is on the ball again. And he's in the corner. Well, it's interesting with Scott Parker. He's getting fitter and fitter. He ran out of steam in midweek. He's giving it the gun today. I think he's been told, last as long as you can, get your fitness. And uh, I think he's been the best player in this first half. Yeah, he has been outstanding. 100% committed in every challenge as well. Collins went for that, and it came off the Everton man for another corner. Lovely to watch Solano at these corners, Alan. They're different corners. You'll get the outswinger, and then you'll get the drive. The one previous was the drive for Collins, and this one you can see the way he's shaping up. It looks like the outswinger. Charlesley gets his head on it. Lucas Neal getting forward here. And forcing Arteta right into the corner, so did Parker. And that pressure has earned West Ham a throw. Cole and Collins, two likely targets here. Seems like a handball in there somewhere, and the linesman spotted it. Free kick to Everton. Well, I suppose it's about time for summing up, isn't it? Just a minute to go at the break, and probably a little bit of time added on, but uh, a close half, as you said, Alan, but I think the chances, the best chances, are felt at West Ham. Collins, Ashton and Jumberg, three gilt-edge chances, and I think Alan Kirbishley will be ruining that in the fact that they missed them it was a quality side Everton and if you don't take your chances and they're liable to go up the other end and get one if they only get one so question of taking your chances for West Ham they've shaded it on the chances but an even half Neil poor clearance that's got drives it in early to Yakubu who's done well to pick out Osman and on it goes to Pinar final chance of the half perhaps for Everton Arteta's cross, it's Yakubu, and then it's Collins to clear. Haven't given up yet, Everton. Osman. 
Here's Arteta. Okay, he'll get it back in. Yakubu! Right on the stroke of half time, Everton have taken the lead. Yakubu, who got the winner here on Wednesday night, has repeated the punishment. Well, exactly what I said. They'll get one chance and they take it. West Ham have had three, didn't take one, didn't clear their lines, got it out wide. Good cross from Arteta. Cahill's peeled off to the far post, beats Upson in the air, and Rob Green, well, he has to come out and he's going to get nowhere near it. Loops back in the air by Cahill, and there's Yakuba to finish. 1 0, cruel game, isn't it? But if you don't take your chances, there's a little bit of quality up the other end that's going to take theirs. And there's Yakuba to put them one up at exactly the right time felt very nicely thank you very much for Everton Yakubu's seventh goal in his last five games and Everton's record signing has paid dividends for them again here and there can only be seconds remaining as Carsley clears the danger what a perfect end to the first half for David Moyes team And West Ham have indeed paid a heavy price for those missed opportunities earlier in the half. Well, there's not a sound out here apart from the travelling support, great travelling support from Everton, but uh, it's been a bit flat before after the Lord Mayor show, but it's certainly flat now. Let's silence the crowd. And it's a cruel game. But look at those travel miles again. Great support Wednesday, Saturday. Incredible, isn't it? Referee's found a bit of extra time from somewhere. Upson clears the danger. And away by McCartney to Cole. Mullins. And the referee hasn't really done West Ham any favours, bringing them back for the free kick. Ham's last chance to get level before the break. Collins just couldn't get through the heavy traffic. Yakubu. Well, it's going to be difficult for West Ham, Alan, because if there's a team who's got something to defend and defends for their lives, it's Everton. And that goal, well, what a killer blow right on the break. with uh, virtually everybody back behind the ball but they can relax now there's the half-time whistle and Yakubu's goal has given Everton the lead that West Ham will feel they didn't deserve because it was the home side who created the best openings in that first 45 minutes Scott Parker was outstanding for them in midfield but Everton have done it again they've snatched the goal at the vital moment and they lead at half-time by one goal to nil here back to Upton Park where West Ham are about to make a substitution Henri Camera the Senegal international who's here on a season's loan from Wigan Athletic has replaced Carlton Cole we understand that Cole has an injury problem he did indeed have one uh, in the build-up to the match and was doubtful took his place but has had to leave the action after 45 minutes well the crowd in good voice here and the team be in good form for West Ham in the second half. Referee checks the watch and will get us underway. West Ham, a goal down then as they start the second half. And Everton have won more points and scored more goals versus West Ham than against any other club in the Premier League. So they very much... Uh, seem to have the Indian sign over the Hammers they beat them here remember in midweek in a Carling Cup quarter-final with a goal by Yakubu and it was his header uh, that sent Everton into their dressing room just before half-time with the lead again and his flicked on header keeping them under pressure here Arteta who switched back over to the right having gone to the left in the latter part of the first half and his cross produced the goal 
Arteta and McCartney clashing accidentally there. Yeah, McCartney just getting in front of Arteta, you can see here. Just gets in front of him, does well, and gets rattled. And, well, try to jump over him, I hope. Yeah, I don't think you'd accuse her. Arteta of doing that kind of thing deliberately. Everton straight back on the attack here. Stephen Pienaar will leave the throw to Julian Lescott, who's started more games than any other player at Everton this season. And also, of course, won his first uh, England caps. It could have been a dangerous throw. And I assume Green shouted for the defenders to leave the ball. Always risky. Well, it seems to be a little bit the way with Rob Green. He just gets touted for the England place and then uh, mistake in midweek uh, with Danny Gabadon. And maybe could have done a little bit better for the goal with Yakubu as well. Maybe could have just stood big. It was hard to stop, there's no doubt about that, because he was left isolated. But just sort of ran past the ball and had a little, of a, little bit of a flat. Maybe could have just stood there and made himself big. But when you come out like that as a keeper, it's always going to look against you. Misunderstanding there between Cahill and Neville. Cahill, who's a header on, unable Yakubu to give Everton the lead. Darkness falling at Upton Park and a very cold wind blowing from the east. And I don't mean Stepney, I think it's come straight from Siberia, this one. And it goes to Ashton. Away by Yovo. Osman. Neville. Broken kindly for Pinar. Lescott. Not the most convincing clearance by Collins. But Lucas Neal should complete it and does. Camara getting his first touch. Now uh, Moby Solano, who dwelled on the ball then. Parker. Outstanding in the first half, and that was superb. And on he goes. He was tripped there by Arteta. He might be fortunate to escape a yellow card. The referees let it go on because West Ham have taken the free kick quickly. And Camera loses it on the first touch. Well, that's a shame. I mean, Scott Parker doing his utmost. He's having a little word with Arteta for the trip. But Scott Parker doing his utmost. He's, he's turned out of a tight situation, ran 50, 60 yards with the ball, invited the foul and got it. And I think he's done everything that you really need to do as a midfield player today. Great little bit of skill when he twists out of that situation. Those two players like a kipper. And then he runs in here, and there's a little bit of a flick. Arteta saying he didn't, but sorry, he did. Parker didn't like the challenge from Cahill. Now Ashton for West Ham. Jungberg's pointing to where he wants the ball, but uh, Ashton can't even dig it out of that crowd of players at the moment. And the decision goes against him. Well, again, just a little bit too slow, Dean Ashton there. A little bit off the pace. He's got to really move that ball quickly out of his feet. Arteta. And there's another free kick in Everton's favour. Well, there's a lot of wrestling going on between centre-backs and strikers trying to get in front of each other to get to the ball that one seemed a little bit harsh they're just trying to jostle to get under the flight of the ball get round each other but it's a free kick given away in a, a dangerous area Joseph Yobo has come forward for Everton for the first time I can remember in the game Les got a threat as well beyond him There's a real old pushing match going on between Ashton and Yobo to name just uh, one duo. But just link the position again, Alan. They're just trying to stay on the wrong side of each other. Ashton needs to be goal side. Yobo's trying to get the other side. And they're just wrestling for position all the time. If you're the defender, which in this case is Ashton, just give yourself a yard. Come away. You don't want to get rattled and riled into giving a free kick into the area. When this ball's going to come in, you don't want to give a penalty away, sorry. Just be careful. Yobo's been the governor of that, that battle today. Ashton's got to be careful. 
Lescott trying to get away from his man. Good goalkeeping. Carlsling hammers it back in. Well, you don't see Lee Carsley score many screamers like that, do you? But it's a great strike on the volley. Volley ball comes out. Great technique. Super technique. To be fair, I think Green would have got it, but headed away by Upson. Strangely enough, it was Lee Carsley who scored the winner the last time Everton beat West Ham here at Upton Park. It was five years ago now. But as you rightly say, he doesn't get many. He's very much a one a season man. Here we go again with all the jostling near the penalty spot this time. Jungberg with a strange header. Turned back in by Pienaar, away by Collins. Lescott for Everton, who are really keeping West Ham penned in their own half at the moment. And a good early throw as well. The start in the second half, they started the first, Alan. First 12, 13 minutes, they've been on top. And it was the same in the first. And then I thought West Ham got in the ascendancy, but they started this half quick. He's quite in the crowd down, that's for sure. We're waiting for a little bit of pressure from West Ham, a little bit of a push, and it's not come yet. Everton unbeaten in their last six away games in various competitions, and they've won four of them, including here, of course, just four days ago. Need a bit of inspiration from somewhere, West Ham. And they're not going to get it like that, given away by Mullins. A great tackle by him to win it back, though. Camera. Solano can't quite get there. The Gelka can seize the throw. Poor touch by Camera. He was trying to control that one. That went about 10 yards in front of him. Parker. It's gone behind. And then he's come to nothing, but the camera, just as the ball come to him, he's... Uh, Probably his first touch at a half, he was really struggling. Mark Noble's coming on here. And replacing Nobby Solano, who was uh, one of the better players for West Ham in the first half. And that uh, substitution has been greeted by some pretty audible boos from some of the home fans. Well, I can only think that's a knock, because he's probably the man capable of unlocking the door. Mark Noble coming on but uh, Solano had been at the heart of everything good for West Ham in the first half Noble having recovered from injury before his uh, hernia problem he played in virtually every game Ashton got a touch on this tight of camera Jungberg Noble getting involved straight away. Neil. Parker. Camera. This is better from West Ham. It's Mullins. On to Ashton. Everton stands strong. Noble. He's really got involved straight to, after coming off the bench. And Mullins shot was deflected for a corner. A good driving run by Mark Noble, straight at the heart. If you go at the heart, then really you're, you're afraid as a defender to make a tackle. But there comes Mullins, just comes in and it's just deflected wide by Neville. Upson and Collins forward again here. But it was an Everton head, that of Phil Neville that reached it first. And Yakubu strong with his back to goal as he is. Parker, West Ham's first spell of sustained pressure in the second half. Oh, it's a wonderful ball in. Yeah, it's a great ball on the run, and a great driving run as well. And I think everyone switched off. They're thinking he's not going to get it in because no one attacked that far post, Alan. That's better from West Ham. First to the ball now, looking far more incisive. Noble, here's Parker, Neil overlapping. Um, doesn't need anyone to tell Scott Parker he got that horribly wrong. I think that was a tired pass just after the 40 yard run. The run before I think we'd like to remember rather than that pass. Great run wasn't it, look, everyone attacking the near post, they kind of switch off because they're all leaden footed in the middle. 
he's got it into the middle and beyond that far post and that's a great position for someone to attack but unfortunately they switched off now a good close-up of the uh, pressures of management kicking and heading every ball making every tackle themselves what a sort of half-hearted chorus of uh, bubbles but it could uh, burst here as Yakubu bursts through and Green just about got it away from him goalkeeper racing to get back into position Scott Parker Ashton got a touch on that camera goes down but no foul by Joseph Yobo now Phil Neville for Everton no foul Alan great defending by Yobo he's always got his body between ball and man and camera was trying to roll him and had no chance three quarters of the way through and Yakubu's goal still separates the sides here Parker for West Ham Kingsley accepts the gift Yakubu here's Arteta back to Neville and nobody switched on that's terrible defending Osman should have finished it and should have finished off West Ham awful that, defending that, that was a chance to kill it but James Collins was playing one offside who was coming back on I think it was Yakubu he's definitely offside no Cahill but look he just lets the ball go lets the ball go across his body and there's Osman who well, normally is a cool finisher Leon Osman we will forgive him this once but that's not the best of finishes as he clips it over the top James Collins I think he forgot the offside rule well it was astonishing they just as you say literally stopped playing and Collins has belted it against Cahill here Yukubu has been given offside Collins is having a nightmare a few minutes he just got a little bit sloppy James he's got to gather his thoughts now Get back to playing it easy made the mistake of on the offside there and there was dallying on the ball hasn't played for a while and at this stage of the game with what 20 minutes to go he must be starting to feel it fitness wise and there again Ashton I don't know how many fouls he's given away in this game Alan but it's quite a few isn't it not getting near with a leap and beginning to let his frustration get the better of him perhaps There's the leap again, look, and there's a foul first on Yobo, clear foul. Well, they've used two subs already, of course, West Ham, and they don't really have anybody left on the bench who is likely to be able to come on and change the game, you would feel. Everton keeping their powder dry, remember they've got Johnson, they've got McFadden, they've got Gravison, top quality players all camera cleared by Yobo having a lot of possession West Ham but they haven't really troubled Howard in the second half now Arteta has been fouled by Mullins One goal in it on Wednesday night, one goal in it so far today. Well, here's the ch challenge by Rob Green on Yakubu in the corner, and it was a little bit touch and go. Was Green going to get there or Yakubu? Rob Green just gets a touch on it first, doesn't he? Yeah, good decision by the referee, I feel. Whoops. Awkward header for Upson. And Carsley with a splendid header finds Pina. Cahill and Yakubu both in the box. It's Yakubu and it's a brilliant save by Green. Still in play. Arteta. Neville joins in. Arteta again. Another good quality ball in from him. Lescott for Everton. Looking strong here. Carsley got lucky then and very nearly made the most of his luck that was a tip over I think by the keeper corner's been given two decent saves in quick succession 
Here's the Carsley shot. You can see let's fly from there. Just a little tip over from Rob Green. And he's the first one. A miss header from Matthew Upson led to this. It's a good cross from Pinar. Decent header from Yakubu because he's come some distance out. And again, sprawling save from Green. Yogo comes to meet it and Green defies him too. Novo's made a lot of ground and finds Camera. It's Pinar on the break for Everton though, Yakubu. Now, did he catch Collins in the face there, Yakubu? He certainly stuck his arm out. Well, he didn't dramatise, did he, James Collins? He didn't go down, he done Yakubu a favour there. If it was an accident, fair enough, but certainly if you go down, it's uh, far more dramatic. I don't want to see the West Ham uh, players are pointing that out to the referee, what happened there, as it goes into Yakubu. This hold-up play is brilliant, isn't it? Here's Arteta. Go back to Osman. Should have made more of that, really, Everton. Mullins. Camera. Ashton in the middle. Jungberg arriving. 12 minutes to go. The uh, crucial period of Premier League games when they're so often won and lost. Just about the only uh, attacking player they have left. Kyle Reid is going to replace Hayden Mullins now for West Ham. Well, I thought it was a bit strange when Solano went off, to be honest, Alan, because it became a little bit lopsided. Kyle Reid gives him the, the balance again. Young left-sided player. Push up on that left-hand side. Lundberg, right, Noble and Parker in the middle. I was surprised at the uh, Solano substitution. Reed came on for the last 25 minutes in the Carling Cup match against Everton here in midweek. He's only played in the Carling Cup this season, in fact. So this is his first Premier League appearance. Here's Pienaar. Pulled it back to Arteta, onto Yakubu. Osman! That's two great chances. He's a lovely Everton move, but the finishing a little off the mark again. Well, great skill by Pienaar in the first place. Pienaar, lovely little bit of skill on Lucas Neal. Just pulls it back from here. Lovely little flick from Arteta into Yakubu. Yakubu off to Osman. Just misses with the finish. Jungberg, who had that great chance in the first half. Neil. Noble on the right. Decent ball in. Ashton was ready to pounce. It's gone to Parker instead. And that's deflected for a West Ham corner. Well, there's a trier. That was a great tackle in midfield, wasn't it? Look, he's absolutely cream crackered. Scott Parker. His shot was deflected over the top there, but he's given his all. Well, not many people have left early today at Upton Park. Noble's corner is a good one as well. Oh. Everton rode their luck a little bit then. Oh, Howard went to come and stops. A good corner for Noble in the right area. Howard goes to come, stops. There's a posse of players getting up, and I think it's McCartney who just gets his head on it at the end. There he is at the... No, oh, it's camera. Looks like it's camera who just gets his head on it over the top. Well, he scored here on Wednesday night, he scored here today, and he goes off to some very generous applause from the travelling Evertonians for this goal and his all-round display. Well, it weren't the greatest goal in his repertoire, but he's getting all kinds of goals for Everton at the moment, and the Yak is back and scores, and looks like he's decided this one.
Ashton with a great header on there. There's Noble. And it's Lescott to clear this time. Neil. Ashton laid it off. Well, for all West Ham's possession in this second half, Everton have looked cool and calm and assured and composed at the back. West Ham haven't been able to rattle them. Still time though. Ashton's header into the space to Reed. He had to lay it off. Let's go with a brilliant header clear. And Johnson retains possession for Everton, who are happy just to get it into the opposition half now. First header was from Pinar there, Alan, as well. That shows you how they defend as a team. Little Pinar back heading and clearing his lines. One last rallying call from the home fans for West Ham. But time against them now. By my watch, we are into the final 30 seconds or so. Well, it was a late, late Everton goal in the first half. Can West Ham get one of their own here as the final whistle approaches? McCartney. Arteta won't give him room for the cross. Neville clears him with a pacey Johnson. They could be in trouble here, West Ham. It's Johnson to seal it. 2-0 to Everton. Three points to Everton. West Ham won't want to see them back at Upton Park for a very long time. Two wins in four days for the visitors. Well, great finish from Andy Johnson. As soon as the clearance is made, Matthew Upson's trying to head it back. I don't know why he's trying to head it back from that distance, but what a finish it is. Rob Green's out of his ground, and he just lobs it coolly over his head. It's a long way to head it back there for Matt Upson from the halfway line, but sits up nicely on the volley. But still, it takes a lot of finishing, and he does so clinically. Great finish. And look what it means to David Moyes. Well, Andrew Johnson certainly won't like the uh, tag of super sub, but that's three goals he scored this season, all of them after coming off the subs bench. And I presume it was him cautioned for the celebration. Well, it's been a thoroughly professional performance, Alan. I don't think they've been at their best, Everton, but... The three chances that Everton missed, uh, sorry, West Ham missed in that first half. And the goal be just before the break, the sucker punch has killed the Hammers. And the second half, they haven't looked like scoring. And there's the real sucker punch, a goal right at the end from Andy Johnson. A classic away win for Everton. Their second on this ground in the space of four days. Remember? Everton have won more points against West Ham than against any other team in the Premier League. They've beaten them in the Carling Cup, they've beaten them in the Premier League. Frustration again for the home side, whose home form continues to be a concern for them. They've only won twice now in eight league games at Upton Park this season. Yakubu getting the first goal, Johnson coming off the subs bench to seal it with his second. A bad week for West Ham, a great week for Everton. It has finished. West Ham United nil, Everton two. David, your fans were chanting at the end, uh, can we play you every week? But it's not that easy, is it? No, not at all. Uh, West Ham played really well today. They put us under a lot of pressure. We've got our goalkeeper to thank for a save from Freddie Lindbergh in the maybe 15, 20 minutes, I think it was. And they put us under pressure. They were they had their pride at stake, and I thought they showed that the way they played in the first half. Thankful we got a goal just before half time and went in 1 0 up. Phil, second win at Upton Park in four days. How difficult is it when you play a team quite uh, twice in quick succession like that? Anyway, it was very tough today. Uh, I thought Wednesday night we uh, we won quite convincingly, even though the scoreline was only 2 1 today. I think they really came out fighting and uh, you know they, they put tackles in, they put pressure on us, they played the ball forward, and uh, we, we had to withstand a lot of pressure. And, uh, you know, I think uh, maybe in the end our quality told and in the last 10-15 minutes when they were putting men forward, I think if uh, we'd have probably just had a little bit more composure, maybe we'd have scored two or three more goals. You got the goals uh, at the perfect moments, mm -hmm. didn't you, just before half-time and then just before the end? Yeah, the goal just before half-time really knocked the steam out of them and uh, it gave us something to hang on to because I think uh, third game of the week, uh, fatigue was probably obviously coming into it. Uh, 
and then and then to score five minutes to the end, you know, the game was over then. And uh, it's an end to a great week. We, we've played West Ham twice. We've stayed in London for three or four days, and uh, you know, we, we, I think we've all had an enjoyable. One thing that struck me today, you look at your subs bench, McFadden and Johnson, yeah. Hibbert, you know, you've got real strength in depth now, haven't you? Perhaps for the first time in your time at Everton. Mm -hmm. you're, you're right, we have, and uh, you know, I didn't even start Victor Amachibi today, who's been terrific for us coming off the bench. You know, I've got James Vaughan, who I'm, we're, we're really looking forward to getting back in, and in the first team again. So I do feel as if we've got, we've got good strengths. Long may it continue, maybe that's what's making the players play so well, the players who are actually not, not starting the games. You're coming up five years of goodness now. Is this the best squad you've had in that time? Six years. Is it six? Six, yeah, as I. <laughs> no, it says it is the best squad I've had. Uh, but they've still got to to do better than the side that got us fourth in the Premier League a couple of seasons ago. So uh, yeah, they've got to try and prove that. But today they've done really well. Now I'm sure you don't like gambling by talking about it publicly. But what do you think this Everton team can achieve this season? <sighs> well, that's that's a difficult one. I, I think that the players are all improving, uh, there's no doubt about that, I think their football's better, I think that uh, Everton as a football club's improving and hopefully we, if we continue doing that, who knows, we've always said we'd like to try and win something, we got to the Champions League uh, qualifier a couple of years ago, no more than that, so we've not really achieved any, so I'm hoping that in the next year or two we can, we can try and do something. So Everton win at West Ham for the second time in four days.